well, 6.30, it's a little earlier start, Saturday the 30th, this makes this day 83 I believe, so I got about a three tenths walk back to the trail, and then we had about 17 miles today. And that'll take me to the shelter, I believe it was called for Shelter 501, an interesting name. It's uh, actually supposed to have somebody who uh, lives right near there, takes care of the place. And you've got a uh, solar shower. So that sounds like it could be nice. And get a chance to take a shower. You can see right now the uh, trail into the shelter I stayed at, or tented at, hammocked at. It's all underwater. <laughs> yeah, talked to a couple of hikers just out for the week. They came up, or came down from the north and. Yeah, just informed me that I could be in for quite a surprise down in the trail. I guess it's uh, flooded out pretty good because of these storms. So, we'll see. Anyway, with luck I should be at the shelter somewhat at a decent hour. Stake my claim so I can get in there and shower. And Weather's supposed to be about the same as yesterday. I got uh, a couple of hills to climb today. The ups and downs, the little guys are gonna be a little bigger today. But we'll manage. That's the name of the shelter I went at too. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Rosh, Roshish, Roshish. Don't ask me, I can't pronounce. Anyway, we're heading down now. And we're back on the trail. You can see down below people are tent down by the river or the overflowing stream, whatever you want to call it. And I am officially on the UT again. And this is a nice trail for now. See how long it lasts. Uh, here's a little history. That an old village of whatever that name's called. 1828 to 1910, population 1,000 people. Bigger than some towns I know now. Moved in 1872. Uh, that's kind of interesting. Read that later when I can pause it. Well, this is a great way to start the day. It's only a seven o'clock, and I had to basically walk straight up that. There's no way through it or around it. Maybe detour way, way around, but a lot of muck, a lot of brush, underbrush, catch your footing. This is all from the storm. This is the trail. There's the blaze. So, back to wet feet, even on a hot sunny day. Hopefully things will dry out. 
Hopefully I won't run into too much more of this crap. Well, this is the trail. There's the blaze. And there's the creek. You can use the logs. I just went on through. You can see the blaze over there. Definitely came up about mid-calf. And the stream, the pressure is not too bad. Tangle yourself upstream. So I just came up and over Sotara Mountain State Park. There's uh, trail magic on the other side of it, so I got a good snack and cold drinks before I headed up. So now here at the rail trail in uh, Lickdale, 2.3 miles. AT goes across. It's an interesting bridge. See if I can get focused in on. Uh... Ah, hold on a sec. There's something written on the top. Don't know if I can get it or not. Anyway, oh. Yeah, I don't know if that can be made out later. We'll see. Anyway, interesting. Uh, bridge I'm not sure of the river if that's the uh, Swatara River to go along with the state park don't know got a highway on the other side So thanks to the flooding of the uh, trail back there that I had near the clip, I now get to hike in soaking wet shoes and socks again, even though it's a nice warm day. Oh well. Wouldn't want too much, you know? So we got something on the other side here, another big parking lot. Interesting. I have to figure out where the trail is. Well, three o'clock in the afternoon. Just about to my shelter I'm headed for, and here is the first good overlook view we had. So there is the valley of whatever town we have down there. So there's the tent site for the night. I should say hammock site. Not using the tarps, not gonna rain. The uh, clothesline is the line that holds my bug screen up above my hammock so it comes in handy for drying off my wet clothes that uh, from sweat and what have you it's been a bad little shelter uh, setup arrangement got a lot of tent sites and I'm actually surprised more people aren't here but they might show up it's only seven o'clock so never know what'll happen what shows up as the day goes so we wrap up for the night Got to uh, the 501 shelter at early today, 3 o'clock, or a little after actually. Would have made it sooner, but uh, I hung out at, a, had three different places for trail magic today. Two of them I spent about a half hour at each one, indulging in the uh, food and the drinks. It was nice having these drinks because uh, there was very little water supply along the whole trail today. It was 17 and a half miles, and uh, as far as the terrain and that, it was kind of a variation of a little everything. Did some downhill and then a little up. 
Then I hit a flooded spot, which was all slime and everything, so the shoes ended up soaked. Got past that and had to do uh, some uh, a little more downhill, and then I hit some trail magic. After that, I had to go uphill, downhill, and then ran into another ice chest full of drinks, so I grabbed a couple of Cokes and filled up my water bottle and headed uphill again. This time we were doing some steep uphill, and by the time I got to the top, I was just about totally fried out. I had to stop in a couple spots and just get my breath and relax and cool down. I was just so hot. Temperature, I don't know what it got to. It was supposed to get into the 95s or so, and who knows what the humidity was. It was terrible. But anyway, um, then as I got about, I was about two miles south of the shelter I was headed for when I ran into a couple of city hikers, locals, that said there was trail magic just down the road about a mile. So, hey, I went in and enjoyed myself again. So, needless to say, I uh, killed off about an hour's worth of time or so and uh, still managed to get here in plenty of time. Tomorrow's going to be a big day. I got 21 miles planned. I'm going to Port Clinton. I'll stay at the uh, uh, town pavilion where they have free hiker camping there and see what I can resupply there. If I can't find anything there, just a couple tents down the road. I can uh, hitchhike into uh, uh, Hamburg, Hamburg, whatever it's called. So that's for tomorrow. And uh, anyway, that wraps up everything for tonight. Uh, nothing more exciting. Outside, I had to forge a flooded creek that was up to about mid-calf and things like that, uh, thanks to the storms we've been having, especially the one the other day. So it's really raised hell with the uh, trail and the area and stuff, not just the hikers.